let's talk a bit about DHCP. So we, I've mentioned it a few times before. So uh, DHCP is the dynamic host configuration protocol. And again, it's relatively old protocol. Uh, it assigns IP addresses automatically and other options for IPs to different hosts and nodes. So auto IP assignment. Uh, that auto IP assignment can be either manual, wherein uh, also known as reservations, you can say uh, the following MAC address gets uh, a specific IP every single time whenever it uh, requests a certain uh, whenever it requests an address. So it would always get you know 1.10 if it had a certain MAC address. Uh, there's also automatic, which is permanent. in that uh, when a host requests an IP address it gets given one from the pool but it's permanently assigned so then the server knows in the future that's always what it gets so manual is uh, administrator uh, administrator intervention you could say and uh, automatic is automatically done by the DHCP process but then it's also permanent uh, in a similar way that manual is. The most uh, common method though is dynamic. This is what you'll see almost everywhere. It assigns or leases. You'll hear of DHCP leases a lot. Uh, an IP address to a client for a period of time. That period of time could be 8 hours, 24 hours, a week. Depends on the administrator uh, what they want to configure it for. Uh, every, whatever the uh, half time is of that period of time, uh, it will then do a renewal. Renewal at 50% time left. So it will request that same address again. Uh, and then hopefully get that uh, confirmation from the server saying, sure, it's still available. This is yours again. Uh, for steps for DHCP, there's a number of packets that are sent and received. Uh, I've mentioned a few of these already. There's the uh, DHCP Discover. This is sent out uh, broadcast style from a client asking for a server. So it says, hey, who's, who's my server? I need an IP address. So uh, the server will then respond with an offer, a DHCP offer, and it will say, sure, I'm your server and here's an IP address. Which will be, from now on, uh, will be unicast packets. In return, the client will then say, okay, I like that IP, let me request it. Seems kind of uh, odd, but that's just the way it does it. So it's a discover from the client. Server will say, here's an IP. The client will say, I like that IP, I'm going to ask you for it then, even though it was just offered. Uh, and then the server will then respond again, but we'll get to that. So the request will say, um, uh, client, client will request. same IP. And then in response, the server uh, will say, sure, acknowledgement. So there'll be a DHCP acknowledgement. And within this, within these series of packets, the offer and the request, uh, that'll also have additional uh, information. So that could be DNS, it could be uh, gateway, uh, could be DNS uh, servers or domain, could be WINS information, 
Uh, it could be anything. There's there's many, 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 many options that you can provide. Uh, they're called DHCP options, pool options that you can uh, configure. And each option has a different number, and it just uh, is a way of being able to determine which one you're configuring. Uh, and each option stands for a certain service or um, IP address you wish to provide, which is additional for the client besides just its core IP and subnet. As for IPv6, uh, I've gone over some of that already. Uh, we have a DHCP v6, of course, and uh, that allows you to provide IP addresses to IPv6 clients. Uh, you can do so either through uh, Slack or DHCP. When we went over DHCP uh, IPv6, I mentioned this. You can do that. Uh, you can do Slack for clients, which will go from the client to the router. Or you can do a combination of Slack plus an actual DHCP. Or you can just do straight up DHCP, which is probably the most common, but uh, that's still being rolled out. If the client, if the client ends up uh, needing to create its own IP address through these uh, options, it'll do so through EUI64. We mentioned how that works, where it takes its uh, MAC address which is 48 bits and then splits it in half and then sticks uh, that FFFE in the middle in order to create uh, the larger address or it'll do a uh, randomly generated So from here we'll go ahead and do some DHCP configuration and take a look at the uh, client getting an IP address. This is something you can do uh, in any of the pieces of software out there. Uh, so look forward to that.